Welcome back. Let's find out the latest in the world of entertainment. Okay, so we, first up, we teased this a second ago. So actress Leah Michelle recently um, debuted on Broadway in Funny Girl, right? Yes, Fanny Bryce. Yes, and this has been a little bit controversial of a role for her because, um, as many know, Beanie Feldstein, so they brought the show back in March. Let me back up. They brought the show back on Broadway in March after, like, I don't know, 50 years or some crazy number, right? Um, so they, br they bring in Beanie Feldstein to play Fanny Bryce, and then she kind of got bullied off Broadway, in my opinion, right? And yeah. so they kind of took her off, and then um, they had, like, a swing or an, whatever you want to call it yeah. um, kind of play in the interim, and then Leah Michelle just started, and she had a standing ovation on opening night. Also, her friend um, Jonathan Groff was um, in attendance, as well as one of the Glee executive producers, Ryan Murphy. So it was, like, a very, like, come full circle moment, but it was all over Twitter. I mean, this has been all the craze lately, right? Yeah. Because, 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 because it's so insane that she's actually playing this role. And a lot of people know this was written in the Glee script back in the day for her to do it. So I don't know. What are your thoughts yeah, on this? And the director even said that he envisioned her in this role on Broadway. Yeah. But her um, schedule didn't work out yes. for it and all of yes. this stuff. And now the opportunity has come in. Yeah. But some people kind of say that we I know. push in. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's it's crazy. Timing is really everything. So, and she, I think, like I said, she had like an eight minute standing ovation or something. So yeah. I mean, people went crazy for what she did. Um, and I hope her run on Broadway is successful for her because I know it's been, there's just a lot of drama surrounding that show and I'm ready for yeah. her to just be calm and successful. She's so. gonna do great. Yes, Fantastic. Yes. All right. Well, one of country's music biggest nights, the 2022 CMA Awards has announced their nominations. Entertainment Tonight's Kevin Frazier joins us now with a breakdown. Kevin? The CMA Awards take over Nashville November 9th, but for now, I want to take a look at the show's biggest category, Entertainer of the Year, featuring the most nominated female artist in CMA history, Miranda Lambert. It's a big deal. I mean, I've, I've been coming to CMA since 2005, and every time I'm still just as nervous and excited to be there. Miranda just scored three noms, bringing her career total to 61. This is her sixth nomination for Entertainer of the Year, but she'll have to go through last year's winner, Luke Combs. Entertainer of the Year has a really nice ring to it, it does, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Should I get business cards made with that on there? Four, sure. Maybe even like a name plaque for right. the desk, and just you know? On the, I don't have a desk, but well, if I did, I should put it in my truck. Rounding out the category, Chris Stapleton, Morgan Wallen, and longtime CMA favorite, Carrie Underwood, who continues to clean up on the Billboard charts. You've accumulated what now, 28 number ones? I don't know. Oh, but, but honey, I think I'm counting. I do, 28, I do blessing. believe. Can somebody, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Hey, and make sure you tune into ET tonight for your first look at Zac Efron and Russell Crowe's new movie, The Greatest Beer Run Ever. For Entertainment Tonight, I'm Kevin Frazier. All right, thanks, Kevin. Hey, you know what's crazy? Okay, so the CMAs, that's the nominations, and Luke Combs was featured in that, and he just announced either yesterday or today he's playing at Air Hood Stadium in Kansas City next summer. Is it really? Yes. I didn't know that. So, um, yeah, I saw that on Facebook this morning, which is always exciting because, like, Kenny Chesney plays every year in Kansas City. And Brad Paisley. And, yes, and listen, yeah. Missouri loves their country music. Yeah. So, and what better place to see it than the Chief Stadium Arrowhead? That's amazing. That's going to be a good one. Yes.